Hey. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, a girl you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept the clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her a new pad. Then, things will be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me? We're going to Frank. I'll take the long way. Thanks a lot. You're moving up over to Bowling Street. Not in the cab of this car, I'm not. After last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah, bitch just bit me. I think she has something to say. Motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill everybody you've Get ever you around. Thanks a lot. Sorry guys, we're keeping this bitch. If he tells me to smoke outside... I can't breathe! I'm suffocating back here, you immigrant fuck! Nico, my man. Katie's taking over on my duty, so I'll be watching this Guido bitch for you. Where is she? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Crazy, crazy. Act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off. Help! Help me! Let me out of here. She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. Let me out. See you later, Nico. Hey, 
Hey, where you going, man? I want to go to... You got it. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Back, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, it turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. Just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man.
have arrived. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? <laughs> Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. <laughs> Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I'll give you a fucking use, That's right. He is definitely a bad influence on me. I'm a fucker! Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How's it? That one ever something is stolen from me? You're not far away. 
I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican peach, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves, to rob me. Cancha is... I don't care what you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Nico, we got the fucks. There's some more of them up there. You go if you give them up. <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yeba no isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. Sir, you 
right, you selfish cock sucking piece of shit. Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. To her, fighting through them damn Russians, all of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we's gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Pacino, but we would've got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would've made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got a suspicion those were the ones Ray Pacino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer, and it turns into a blood bag. That was when those friends stole them from you, did they? No, they stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit, these diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for them. It's good they're on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man, Gracie's friend. Or I don't know, maybe to Bulgari. Bulgari? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgari in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Hope Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Boa to get away from him and another man called the Beatry Rascal. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Hope Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Becky. Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. some bad news for you. We weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Bulgarin claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit. You got them? Where are they? Liberty City dump? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic. Where to? I want to go to Strower Avenue. Here we go. Tip, please. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port 2. Go to the old factory off of Argus Street. The 
fucking Russians have got to Charlie Matei. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how to fuck me? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the Ancelotti's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this bad Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. Now, the way I see it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you.
Enjoying yourself? Where can I take you? I want to go to Stra- It's gold. This is it. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey, it's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? I mean, I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about 
time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting. He's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy he can disappear real easy if the fed show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. There you are. Frankie, you've been keeping your eyes open out here. You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me! Get me close to the force, and I'll take out that fed car! watching these cars. I thought Phil was just paranoid. Give me a break, man. I got a lot on my mind, you know? I didn't have much time to scope this out. My ma's kind of sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These fans are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You want to see a picture? I don't want to see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. Don't lose the boss, man. I got no idea where we're heading. Have some of that! The feds are all over us, man! You like that? The feds don't fuck with the boss and get away with it. Get close to them! Boss! 
Nico, they're all over us. We, we're ditching the cars and going on foot. Park up behind me when I stop. All right. Frankie, Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon, shit! Here goes... Suspect last seen on foot. Hurry up, get up! Learning their lesson. There's more of it up. I'm gonna clip it. Can you get these cops off of us? Frankie, shit, the bastard's dead. This is one more reason for my ex-wife to hate my guts. He was her nephew. He fucked up! Us unloading the AIDS was his call. You don't need to blame yourself. Ray's gonna be pleased about this. He's been trying to bank Frankie's wife ever since they got married. Poor girl, she ain't got much. Don't think about it. He fucked up today and he paid the price. Gets harder every time. <laughs> Admittedly, it was a high one. You and me are only here today because we didn't make the fuck up that Frankie did. Nico, you done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in a safe place. You're damn right.
Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Did you see the video I sent you?